are going to offer uh, the folks out there silver. And you're going to be able to get this in uh, quantity, folks. And uh, here's the deal. These are going to be struck rounds. They're, they're not the mint currency, okay? But this is going to be certified 0.999% pure. And what I would like from the listeners out there is some ideas on what you would like to see on that coin because you're going to be buying it. Uh, we're, we've got some design ideas for it. But what would you like to see on a coin? And don't tell me you want Ron Paul or Alex Jones's face on it, because <laughs> ain't going to happen. At any rate, um, email me at johnstatmiller at hotmail.com and tell me what you would like to see included on this coin. Uh, and we are going to, I have a gentleman that is going to put up the money for the dies, and we are going to strike these coins. We're going to make it available to you out there at the best possible price we can give it to you from. That way you can support us. You can get the silver. And this man is picking up where Van Nottinghaus went wrong. And he's setting up a dealer network out there. Uh, he's got currency officers. He's got 27,544 retailers right now that are accepting the currency. So there was not going to be any problem with that because the complaint has been before, okay, I have this gold or silver, but where do I go spend it? Well, you can always convert your gold and silver into the current currency of the realm, if you so desire. But a lot of people would like to be able to exchange their silver for goods and, more importantly, maybe get change back in the said currency, you know, real money. So... Let me know what you would like to see included in this coin, and who knows? The order that you make for this coin, your idea might be on it. So email me at johnstatmiller at hotmail.com. Uh, working with a guy that I met at Jekyll Island, and uh, we're going to beat everybody's prices out there, folks, because we're not greedy, okay? We know you need the stuff in order to survive, and I'm not going to take advantage. Uh, we don't take advantage of people through Republic Trading Group. We give you an honest deal. We give you honest stuff. There's no smoke or mirrors. There's no high-pressure sales. We do your bidding, okay? Robbie's number is 800-691-7898. Give the guy a break for the next couple hours because he's going to do a program right after this one. But I just thought I'd uh, let you folks know about that. And, Robbie, that's news to you. I haven't even spoken to you about it. Yeah, well, thankfully you have a wife that discloses stuff. Ah, jeez. Um... Telephone, tell a woman. <laughs> Telegraph. <laughs> but uh, listen, I mean, there's no question. Um, you know, as we once again are knocking on the door of a $1,000 gold, um, action in silver is uh, is increasing, um, and and you are going to see, I, I mean, it's you got silver uh, closed exactly at $16 today, up 37 cents. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, up 2.37% as opposed to gold, up 0.87%. Um, yeah, it's, it's silver is a no-brainer in my, my humble opinion. And, and a lot of people, and we feel for you out there, folks, we just don't get up here and do a shtick. And, you know, we know what people, we know what's on your mind out there. And I, and I know a lot of you right now cannot afford $1,000 an ounce gold. We, we know that. But you can afford... $20 silver, $19, $20 silver around, can't you? Of course you can. And whatever you can get right now, it is going to go such a long way in the preservation and putting food in your belly. Uh, you are going to thank us profusely. But hold the thanks. You know, this is a mutual exchange thing. We do something good for you. We do something. You do something good for us. You do business with us. Help support that which is starting to change things, folks. I'm not doing this network for my health or my ego, and certainly not the wealth. 800-313-9443. <laughs> you got questions. We have Mr. Chapman, Mr. Noel, and myself. Take advantage of it. Second hour coming up. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Hour two of the National Intel Report, special edition on this Tuesday. It is June 2nd. <laughs> Almost half of the year is gone in 09, folks. Are you having fun yet? At any rate, special edition of the National Intel Report, of course, on Tuesdays 
is Robert Chapman and Robbie Noel. Of course, I'm your host, John Statmiller, sitting here waiting for the market to open up here uh, on gold and silver, what the Asian and European markets are doing. Uh, looks like it went up a little bit. Hmm, we'll have to keep an eyeball on that. Well, somebody just sent me an email. They were watching uh, Fast Money on CNBC in the last hour. Mm -hmm. Don't know how they can watch CNBC and listen to the show at the same time, but that's neither here nor there. They just watch the pictures. Um, uh, the subject of gold came up, and the Fast Money traders uh, uh, are stating that the drug cartels are now dumping the U.S. dollar in favor of gold. <laughs> Uh, by inference, what they are saying is that gold hoarders better beware because being in possession of large amounts of gold bullion will now have you ID'd as a suspected drug trafficker. <laughs> well, I mean, these people will sink uh, to uh, yeah. less, uh, levels of depravity that have been unheard of before. Well, and, and they don't realize, and that's what I said about the credibility factor. They used to give you pro and con. They'd give you both sides of an argument and let you decide, you know, how much of one side of the story was BS and which wasn't. But they're not even bothering to do that anymore. And when the people are running down Wall Street with pitchforks and uh, want their little heads, uh, they're going to think better of it. Uh, Bob, in your newsletter, you did a little story here. I didn't, I didn't realize that LBJ was in on the fix. You know, we talk about Fort Knox, but it looks like, uh, <laughs> it looks like Mr. Lyndon Baines Johnson was in on a gold heist of his own. And, That's uh, right. And and uh, who was it? Who was the little lady that uh, mysteriously fell out of a high-rise building because she was flapping her her jaws? Mm, can't remember. Hmm. Um, but I do know that um, the Rosa bonds were created at that time, and uh, the U.S. had to borrow money and didn't want to monetize. So what they did was they issued bonds that were redeemable in gold. And so all those bonds, when they matured, were redeemed in gold. And that's something else LVJ did. He was he was a creature of, of politics and probably one of the evilest people that we've had uh, in politics in American history. Uh, when he died, he was worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And uh, he had always worked, with the exception of when he was a teacher as a young man, in politics and you can't normally accumulate that kind of wealth on a representative salary all right we'll take the break here we'll continue with your calls 800-313-9443 just taking a look at the market that just opened up it was up a buck now they knocked it down the manipulators knocked it down 20 cents they never stopped 